Hi, and welcome back to another episode of KL Tech Videos. And today I'm going to be showing you some cool tips and tricks on Proxmox, specifically how we can enable nested virtualization. And what does that mean? That means running virtual machines inside virtual machines. And you're probably saying to yourself, well, Keith, why would you need to do that? Well, my use case specifically is so that if I wanted to, for example, set up an Ubuntu server, I could then deploy Docker on said Ubuntu server, which would help me demonstrate to you certain things to do in Docker in a controlled environment. So it's, it's things like that. But otherwise, it's for when you want to host things inside Proxmox virtualized, but virtualized. So it's kind of... Uh, the whole inception idea. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Now there are some prerequisites for this uh, tutorial. You're gonna have to have on the motherboard enabled, if you have Intel, Intel VT-X, or if it's AMD, it's going to be AMD-VI. These are the virtualization technologies behind this process. So what we're going to want to do, first of all, is head over to the uh, name of the server that you want to get this going inside your data center. So in my case, this is the mini mainframe. We're then going to hit on the shell button here. Now, it's going to be a bit different, right? So for Intel CPUs, you're going to run this command, cat forward slash sys forward slash module forward slash kvm underscore intel forward slash parameters forward slash nested but on amd which we are we're going to be running this command cat sys module kvm underscore amd forward slash parameters nested when we do that we're going to get a number and basically what we're looking for is either you're going to see uh, an N or a zero or a Y and a one. Now, if the console shows Y on Intel CPUs or one on AMD systems, because there'll be one or other for depending on what you've got, Intel or uh, AMD, we can um, basically skip to the next step. But if you're getting a, a zero or an N, then we need to enable the option. Now, if you're running Intel uh, and that came up with an N for no, you'd want to run this command. Echo options KVM Intel nested equals Y. The little forward uh, arrow there. Etsy mod probe dot D forward slash KVM hyphen Intel dot com. If you were running AMD, you would run this command instead. Echo options KVM AMD nested equals one into uh, Etsy modprobe.dkvmamd.conf. And then what you do is reboot your Proxmox server. Once uh, your system restarts, then head back to the shell tab here. Now, if, like I said earlier on, you saw a yes, a Y for yes, or a number one like I have, we don't need to do that. And if uh, you've done what I've just said, we're all at the right step together. Now for the next command, um, we need to know the ID of the virtual machine that we want to enable nested virtualization for. And the ID is those numbers here on the side. So you've got 100, 101, 100, 200, 3, whatever your ID is on the side is what we want to use for this next command. Uh, oh, let me take that off. And it's the same for Intel or AMD at this point. So you've got QM set VM ID equals equals, sorry, hyphen hyphen CPU host. So all we've got to do at this point, for example, is remove that. And let's just say we want to enable nested virtualization for our Ubuntu server here on 101. All we do is start 101 and then tap enter. That VM is now updated. So when we start that VM, we can now install things into that like Docker, or other virtual machines and again this is the point it's nested simple as that really and as long as you're always replacing that um, VM ID with whatever ID of the virtual machine um, that you want to run that nested virtualization on you'll be good to go and that's all you've got to do at this point is just keep that command noted down somewhere because that's the command that you're going to want to use every single time 
just changing that ID. And for example, if we wanted to install that on Windows 11, it's the same process, obviously set that up, but this time we can now leverage a hypervisor, for example, onside that uh, Windows 11 virtual machine, whereas before we wouldn't have been able to have done that. So I hope that's been a nice quick video. I didn't want to really drag this out. I wanted to get straight to the point for you to show you how to do that. Um, and with that, have fun with your new nested virtualization server. Thank you very much for your time. Catch you in the next one.